Hello. This is going to be a demonstration video showing you how to prepare a sample for the GT2 NanoScribe here at Georgia Tech. Start at the box by the door. This will have different substrate holders, substrates, and the multimeter. In general, most things you need to prepare your sample will be found here. Now you can see the carrier that holds the different substrate holders. The holders are what you are going to put your sample on which will then go into the NanoScribe. They are all labeled with their name and which side is top and bottom. The first one is used for 2-inch wafers. The second one would be used if you were trying to do oil immersion, for which you would use very thin microscope slides as a substrate. At Georgia Tech, there are five holders available but if there are any holders or substrates you want to use that are not provided, you can contact the IEN staff and they will help you out. The third one is just for regular 1-inch slides, they can also be used for batch work. This fourth one is what will be used for this demonstration, and it is very commonly used. When you have your desired holder, you place it bottom side up on the elevated plate. Lastly, this fifth one is used for 4-inch wafers. Now, you can get the right substrate from the box. Here we are using a dill substrate that is ITO coated. This can be used for a variety of different applications. You will also want to grab the multimeter so you can check which side is conductive when using an ITO coated substrate. Remove your substrate and gently place it on the holder. Now, you are going to want to turn the multimeter on by placing it on the resistance setting, which looks like this, and rest the wire leads on substrate. If the multimeter reads back numbers, you know you are on the correct side because it shows that that side has conductivity and you can continue the process. If there is no reading, and the multimeter reads zero, then turn the substrate over to the other side and test again. Once you have the correct side, secure the substrate down using the Kapton tape next to the resists, this will keep the substrate in place. Next, take the resist you will be using, in this case we are using IPS. Add a small drop onto your substrate, it does not take much as most prints are in the micro scale. If you are using IPS or IPQ they are readily available through this setup on the table. If you are using a different resist, you will find it in the box behind labeled, Nanoscribe Resins. Now your sample is ready, thank you for watching.